Here I'm using a NOCO Genius charger to charge a 12.7 F2 battery that's going to be used to power a tire pressure pump that I harvested from a jump pack. We're disconnecting the charger here. This battery is going to provide the high current necessary for the brush DC motor to power the reciprocating piston in the air compressor. Here we connect the F2 spade terminal, positive and negative. Then we pick up the entire unit as one four and a half pound package and move it to the tire. Once we disconnect the cap from the tire stem, we're going to connect the air compressor. I use the gauge on the unit and a light to monitor the gauge. This system um, is a improvised system. It works great. I've been using it for years. Um, I'm aiming for between 37.5 and, and 38.5 and PSI in all of these tires. That is a proper inflation range for high fuel economy and it minimizes deformation of the, si the sidewall of the tire and maximizes grip. You don't ever want to under or over inflate a tire. If you want to know your vehicle's proper uh, tire inflation pressure, check the sidewall and it will say what the maximum tire pressure is. Then on the driver's side door, open the door and look to the right. About halfway up there should be a sticker that tells you the load ratings for the vehicle and it'll tell you what are the recommended settings from the manufacturer for the tire pressure. It's a good idea to stay close to that range. Properly inflated tires last longer. They provide better grip, better stopping distance, and in general will give you overall better handling, better performance, and it enhances the life of the tire as well. I typically buy Michelin tires, although the leaf that you're seeing here is uh, Dunlop. These are the factory tires. They have 14,000 miles on them. These are Michelin Energy Saver AS. They're approximately six years old. These are a low rolling resistance tire. They're the third set of tires I put on the Prius. It has over 140,000 miles on it. Uh, these tires have about 40,000 miles on it. The tread still looks good. I try to keep the PSI pressure in the Prius uh, tires at around 40 PSI. That helps dramatically improve the efficiency of the drivetrain. The digital tire pressure gauge I'm using uh, gives PSI to half a unit of precision. Um, it's just an estimate. I use the same gauge on all the tires. That way uh, the relative precision uh, tells me that I'm in the correct range. It's not a very precise instrument. Uh, all we're going for is uh, roughly correct. Both vehicles are equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. Neither had triggered a low warning pressure or low pressure warning. I just try to keep the tire pressure up. Make sure you do this in the morning. I did this early this morning after the vehicle's been parked all night. You don't want to do it after you've driven. You want to let the tires cool off all, all the way. That's called cold tire pressure, and that's important uh, to make sure that you're getting the actual correct pressure. When you drive, the tires heat up, and that causes the air inside to expand, which increases the tire pressure. So a hot tire pressure measurement is inaccurate. You always want to fill and measure tires when they're cold. I cut out about half the tires. This is only four of eight for two vehicles. Uh, that rounds out the end of the session here. I'm going to return the battery to its charger. Once you're done using lead acid batteries, it's always a good idea to hook them back up to their charger. Lead acid batteries last longer if you keep them fully charged around 13.26 volts DC for a 12 volt battery. Cheers and thanks for watching. Have a good day.